All right, guys, let's go back to the very basic in factorization. So we are given this. It says x squared plus 11x plus 30. As we said, let's have a little row for a part here. So. First, we have the ABC. So it will be A times C. So we multiply A times C. That's x squared times 30 equal 30x squared. When we reach this stage, we place all the factors of 30, or the product of AC. So 1 times 30, 2 times 50, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. From the factors, we're going to examine them and say which one of them can give us B, which is 11x in this case. 1 plus 30 is 31, 2 plus that is 17, 3 plus that is 13, 5 and 6. Once we identify it, we replace 11x with 5x and 6x because it's the same value. 5x plus 6x is equal to 11. Alright, when we reach this stage now, we bracket it. In. That is why we did that. We split it. So now we take the highest common factor of x squared and 5x. Uh, what is common? between 5x squared and 5x. That is clearly x, right? Because x is here, x is there. Then we divide x squared by x, which is the same thing as x times x divided by x. So this cancel this, so that leave x. 5x divided by x, x times x, so that leave 5. What about the sign? This is a plus. Next, we say, what's the ice number that can go into 6 and 30 without a remainder? You yeah, have to know your timetable, that will be 6. X is not common in this 30, so we cannot take 6x, just 6. 6 into 6x, six, 6 times 6, that leave x. 30 divided by 6, that leave 5. Here is the answer, basically. What is common? We take it out, so it's x plus 5. No matter of fact, if you don't get this in, in both brackets, check something in the round. And then what's outside, which is this and this. So this is x plus 6. Alright, let's just look at this one. x squared, so we'll leave it ABC again. By now, you guys should have paused the video and try for yourself. So this gives us 20 x squared. This all the factors of 20. So that's 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Clearly, we can see it's 4 and 5 give us 9. So we replace 9x with 4x plus 5x, right? This is the same thing as 9. Bracket it out. So take out the highest common factor, x. x into x leave x. x into that leave 4. What's the highest number that can go into 5 and 20 without a remainder? 5. 5 into that, 5 into 20, 4. See there? Don't know what the excitement about, guys. And what's outside. And that is our answer. Alright, let us continue. We have x squared plus 10x plus 21. So, same thing. A, B, C. And it's A times C, which is x squared times 21. That gives us 21x squared, 1 times 21, and 3 times 7. As I said, guys, you must know your timetable. So it's 3 and 7, so it's x squared plus 3x plus 7x plus 21. Notice only this we get rid of, because this is the same thing. Because 3x plus 7x give us 10. So we take out the x, x into that leave x plus 3. I see I can go into 7 and 21, that's 7x plus 3, so it's x plus 3 and x plus 7. This is our answer. This is common to go to it. Final one, and then I'll give you guys one. x times that, so a, b, c, so x squared times 40 gives us 40x squared, and it's all the factors of 40, 1 times 40. 2 times 20, 3 can go into 20, so 4 times 10, 5 times 8, and I think that's it. 
So from this, we're going to see which one of them can give us 13. That, that, this. 5 plus these are 13. So it's x squared plus 5x plus 8x plus 40. Bracket it. Take out the highest common factor, x. x plus 5. 8 x plus 5. So it's x plus 5 and x plus 8, which is outside. And that is our answer. So now I want you guys to do this one on your own. Send this one in class. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.